G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. I'm heading out right now to go to the library to get some work done. So I'm about to go, I've just had some breakfast, feeling really good, so let's go to the library. So I did send out some parcels already of some stuff that did sell over the weekend. It was a little bit slower of a weekend than normal. I believe it was only five or six items, but let me cut to when I was shipping those out and I'll let you guys see what I sold. So first item going out is a Chinese Charisma brand new with tags dress. I sold this one for $12. This is with a lot of women's clothing that I paid about a dollar per piece for. For a wonderful whopping $3, we sold a skirt as well from this women's bulk lot, $3. For $5, we sold another women's piece, just the top. Sold quite a lot of the women's clothing. Very small margins on these items. I don't really want to do this ever again, pick up these type of items. Uh, yeah, it's not really worth my time trying to send them out, so five bucks. The St. Joe's Sharks hockey jersey sold for 30 bucks. It did have some holes in it as well, so that's why I let it go for a bit of a bargain. Next sale was quite a cracker. Shoe 28, it was a pair of RM William boots. These were a good sale. Sold these for 150 bucks and these cost $15. I would have got a lot more if they weren't so marked and scratched up and stuff. But I was happy to see them walk out the door for $150. Last item that I'm sending out today is a Polo Ralph Lauren Vintage t-shirt. And that one sold for $19 or so bucks. Just heading into Woolies here just to get some water. Got to keep the hydrations up. Ah. So I want to quickly talk to you guys. I was watching the TV last night and there was this pretty awesome show on... It was about Heath Ledger. If you guys watched it, it was pretty awesome. I didn't really know the life story of Heath himself. For those of you who don't know who he is, he's an Australian actor and he played the Joker in Batman. Um, and he was just an awesome dude by the sounds of it. Like all the stuff he was into, he was like quite an adventurous bloke and quite the success as well. And it was pretty cool to watch because uh, he, he died in 2008 or something, I think it was. It was pretty amazing to just look at his life story and there was so much to learn. Like he did a lot of filming as well. He was like vlogging before vlogging was a thing. He didn't really like put them together, but they used the raw footage that he had to create this documentary that was on last night. But it was really cool to see someone like him document his life like back in 2000 when they had those flip handy cam cameras it's pretty awesome to see that happening because like that's what i'm doing here in the vlogs is documenting my life as well so it's pretty cool to see that but i basically just watched that whole documentary all of last night and just wrote down notes and just got so much value from it it's like the first time i've ever got value from watching television to be honest from things like he was reading a book on a plane it was bruce league's book i'll have a link down below if you want to check it out i am yet to read it but I'm definitely going to be reading that next because if someone like Heath was reading it and Bruce Lee as well is quite a renowned figure. So there's always something to learn from those who have come before you. So I'll definitely be reading that book. But just the way he took on life was awesome to, to look at and it's something that I'll be considering as well. He was quite adventurous as I said and he did all these cool things and uh, yeah he was from Perth, Australia as well so it was pretty cool. And he did like road trips across Australia and stuff as well. Alright guys, good library session, got a bit of work done in there, I was in there for a good hour and a half to two hours, got a heap of work done so I'm super stoked about that, probably going to head back home now, I'm not even going to go to any thrifts, that's the promise, can't spend any money again this week, so I'm going to try again another week not spending any money and see how I go with that. I have this watch, it's a tag watch, one of those, one of those famous Swiss watches, here it is right here, I picked it up from a garage sale. And I paid like 10 or 15 bucks for it and I have no idea if it's real. I looked up down the very bottom of the watch. It is out of focus, but right down the bottom it says Swiss made. So to me that's an indicator that it is legit, right? As you can see like right underneath that 50, it says Swiss made. And this glows in the dark pretty bright, so that's like a guarantee that it's real. Uh, I think anyway on the back I looked up that number couldn't find anything and I'm not sure how to take off the back so if you know how to take off the back of like these particular watches I think I might need a special tool to grip both sides and twist it around 
but if this is a real legit piece then it is probably worth two three four hundred dollars but I need to get it authenticated I might take it to a professional store and see if they can check it out for me because I have no idea dad you want to watch the vlog that you featured in yeah. 33 on both. We're at 37 now. Yeah. I took these photos. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll walk around there, don't it I? <laughs> You look like an old fella. It's funny looking at yourself in uh, third person, isn't it? Yeah. Hopefully the lighting isn't too crazy in here, but I am taking some photos and listing some items. Doing some late night listing. Working on all the items that we have over here. And I've got a box of stuff here as well. And also I'm working on that stuff over there as well. But that is about it for today's vlog, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you give it a good thumbs up. And also put some comments down below if you have any questions and stuff like that. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.